What would you have to say about the dose-dependent cardiovascular depression effects of propofol? It's interesting. If you like read about it, I think that it's very nuanced, like everything in life. But yes, um, you definitely see the drop in SVR. You definitely see a drop in blood pressure. And for patients who are very, very brittle with very severe heart failure, if you give a normal induction dose, you can absolutely kill them. You do not want to do that. You know, traditional textbook teaching will tell you to switch to automate. I think that just switching straight to automate is not always the answer because automate also has a lot of really nasty side effects. It has a, a lot of issues of its own. You know, I think a lot of people really take a more balanced approach where you'll mix several other types of medications for an induction of a patient with severe heart failure. So maybe we'll rely a little bit more heavily on opioids or maybe we'll do a combined like inhaled induction of anesthesia where we're using our inhalational anesthetics through the mask in combination with some opioid like fentanyl in combination with extremely low doses of propofol. And we'll just take our time and go slow and we'll just like wait and watch the patient go to sleep. You might run a norepinephrine or nephrine or phenylephrine infusion with induction, depending on the patient's physiology and what else is going on. You might, again, switch to even ketamine. There's lots of different options there. But I think the key take-home point is to make sure you are reducing your dose significantly, being patient and waiting. A nice trick I like to use is to actually look at the clock when I'm inducing, and then I can kind of check myself when I'm waiting a long time, like, okay, how much time has actually passed? Sometimes it feels like you're waiting a long time and it hasn't even been 60 seconds. So it's nice to have that frame of reference by keeping your eye on. That's relatable. Yeah, it's like crazy. The time kind of like flies and goes slow. 